follow us in here real quick and just see what's already getting started. I love those highways, man. We still play a lot with highways and the other one is right there. That is so cool. That's a banana red striped spider, female. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, man, I'm here in Mexico still. I'm gonna show you guys a crazy, crazy collection. I know you hear a lot of noise, but there's, there's a reason to it. So this right here is my new friend, Alan from Animal. Alan? Animal? Animal. Alan? Animal? I don't know like that. <laughs> All his information is gonna be on the description down below. He's based out here in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, as you can see, look at this beautiful place right here, right? I thought this right here was his house. And what actually what they're doing is they're building a uh, very, very beautiful, beautiful reptile, what would you call it? Like just a reptile? facility yeah. rodent facility rodent but facility. the crazy part is before we get there because he's just been doing this for one year just one year look what they're doing over here so alan can, uh, what are you doing over here well we have right there a construction of the new repertory and the new reptile space all right there yeah here we have we, we will have a lot of ball pythons right there so that's where all of that so he started this, uh, how long have you get into one year, right? Yeah. And you just started as a hobby, mm -hmm. right? What got you into this anyways? Um, I started with a uh, little leopard geckos and something like that. And I, I'm interested in this like by one year or two years, but I really discovered uh, the world of the ball pythons. Yeah, and, and you want to really do it full love. time. You want to do that for work, ball pythons. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, the stuff that he has, and his room right now is like really small, but just knowing where they're going, I mean, it's so freaking awesome. Now, follow us in here real quick and just see what's already getting started before this thing ends up finishing up. Could you imagine? I thought this was a house. Imagine where he must really live. Come on here. Again, right? You would think like, man, who lives here? So check this out. He was telling us actually that uh, he just traded a uh, ball python for two of these dogs right here. Right? Two little French bulldogs. You guys know these little Frenchies right here are very, very popular dogs. But yeah, he did a nice little trade. So yeah, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go upstairs, because this place is humongous. We're gonna go upstairs, they're gonna talk a little bit about his rodent production, because he's starting to do the rodents right now, and then we're gonna get into all his snakes and uh, go from there. But guys, I'm telling you, this is really, really exciting. Alan, again, thank you, man. I can't wait to show everyone off all your stuff. Come on. All right, Alan, so this is another story over here on top of your house or your facility, right? Yeah. So you were telling me um, right here, you're starting your own rodent production? Yeah, of course, because we use like 200 rats uh -huh. in a week and I need more and more rats. And the project did have all this space with rats. With all of the rats. Production. Now remember guys, this right here is his facility right now as far as his snakes and stuff, reptiles. Remember, it's gonna go elsewhere. So do you have rats right now that you can show us? Yeah, of course. Here we have a lot of babies from these cages. Oh, look at that. Little white babies. And on these cages, we have the families. <laughs> okay, the one, the like one male, three females. Yeah, of course. We, we also put like one male and 10 females and they actually function, but the, the correct it's have only five rats. Dude, that is so cool. And Alan, how old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old. Dude, yeah. more power to you, man. <laughs> this is really cool. And right here's where you have the uh, the rats with their babies, right? Yeah. All the yeah, we have a mother with a lot of babies. And do you have any employees? Do you have any people helping you? Actually, one people, but I need more. You need more? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the way you're going, man, it seems like if you really know what you're doing, you're gonna go 100 percent on it. Yeah. All right, man. Let's go check out your collection real quick. But real quick, I heard you do have a tigu right over here, right? Mm -hmm. The baby Francis. Ah, this is my baby, white and yellow, white and black tigu. Look at that. How cool is that, man? All right, let's go check out the rest of your stuff. Well, here it's. So, well, well, let's start off right here, real quick. So, right here we have your incubator, right? Let's see if we have some of my stickers. Okay, it's a cool sticker. Justin Kabelka, I love my snakes. Phoenix, we're gonna be seeing them next. Guadalajara Pythons, GM Reptiles. I know all these people. I know them. Justin Kabelka, Charlie Geckos, GM, not that guy. Uh, where's my stickers at, Charlie? I mean, not Charlie. <laughs> Alan? Alan. Alan. <laughs> I need your stickers. Please send me them. I'll, I'll get you that. But uh, you have one clutch right here, right? Yeah. What clutch is that right there? What's the pairing? That was with a female lemon pastel for a male 
Owner's Dream, Yellow Belly, and Chi. Dude, that is so awesome. Mm -hmm. And right here, what do, what do we have going over here? Green iguanas. Green iguanas. I actually wow. love them. Those two are at the lineup. Which ones? These right here on the, on the bottom? Yep. The first one and one of the top ones. Mm -hmm. Now, are iguanas, are they, are, do they sell really good over here? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, are a lot in, in the marketplace. Yeah. But they continue to sell. Nothing like ball pythons, though. No, huh? no, no. All right, so you can show us over here, man. Show us all your great stuff. Show us stuff that you're working with. Well, those all are females mm -hmm. on, the, on these three racks. Yeah. And I think the most powerful are these highway. Have a little paradox. She, it's my beautiful highway. I love those highways, man. We still play a lot with highways and freeways. Yeah, actually, yeah. talking about freeways, I have a baby freeway from Your Snakes. Oh, that's that's right. This is one of the snakes that we send out to um, Idol from Guadalajara Pythons. Mm -hmm. So Idol's the one that sends all the snakes out here and distributes everything. And he actually purchased this freeway right here. Beautiful snake right here, man. And you and you were telling me you were going for the pa the pavements, right? Yeah. That's what you want to do? That's the project. Sweet. So right here, what do we have? Um, I know you have some head stuff. Or you have some head pied, mm -hmm. head ultra mouths. Can we take a look at them? Are they already breeding? Yeah, actually, they are just to have the, these clutch. So they're about to have clutches? Mm -hmm. So right here we have a head pie, right? Mm -hmm. What did you breed that to? To a banana black pastel head. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, a head, so you could possibly make some. Okay, cool. And then right here? Right there we have a head ultra male. Oh man, she a is Very beautiful, bright. normal. Yeah, that does not look like a normal. That thing looks more desert ghostish a little bit. But again, it's one of those things that the head brings out, the color on that. And yeah. she's also gonna be having a clutch? Mm-hmm, and she was with a black pastel head ultra male. I love black plastic. Black plastic ultra males are freaking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then over here, what do you have? Some males or we have more females here? We have more females. We have uh, orange ghost female. Oh, yeah, you got to love Super orange ghost. ghost. Yeah, <laughs> it's highway because it's, uh, it's, it's um, what's it called? Uh, uh, shed, mm -hmm. right? So super. <laughs> we have right there uh, ivory. Is That's this ivory? ivory? The one that was sold to you and then had a clutch? Yeah. <laughs> and this put. Five babies than what was ivory too. Oh no way! So it's all baby, all ivories. Oh, that is so freaking cool. So what'd you do with them? Did you keep them or sell them? No, I'll sell them. <laughs> Dude, that is freaking awesome. I, I have man. an ivory. I don't need more. Yeah, that's true. Now you don't no, You just don't have ball pythons. You have other kinds of snakes too, right? Yeah. Some reticulated pythons. Yeah, I have three reticulated pythons. That's a tiger head purple. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that a male or a female? Female. Female. Yeah. Now, do you want to get into breeding these two as well, or is these more for just for like a like a mascot? Yeah, they are loose, just like just a, a pet. pet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, what do we see right here on your um on your iPhone? That's my YouTube channel. That right there. Yeah. If you can follow me. Oh, definitely, guys. Everyone, it will be go great. check out my animal. How do you say animalin? Ah, yeah. animalin. Yeah, yeah, everything. Instagram, YouTube, Ooh. Facebook, everything. <laughs> And of course he has some fishes. Yeah, the, this... all those fishes are rescued. Oh, are they? Yeah. Some kids mm, come with me and they give me. Oh, no way. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what, um, what else do, and this is, uh, what's it called? Something that your friend actually made a new rack out here, right in Mexico. So for hatchlings? Yeah, because how that's so dark. I and then know. right here, what do we have? Oh, right here, some veil chameleons, right? Oh, now you got these veil chameleons from um, Casa de Reptiles, right? From mm -hmm. the reptile house. Yeah. So we got one male, then we got two females. Two females. I am really no. Nope, there's one up top right there. Right there. And the other one is right there. That is so cool. So, um, Ellen, what else do you want to do? You obviously want to breed ball pythons. You're gonna start breeding chameleons too. Yeah, that's a project. Project too. And what about uh, any other kind of reptiles or any lizards? Leopard yeah. geckos. You have some here? Yep, we have. Three females and two males. Actually, that female will have a clutch. Wow. For that he have... Now, clutch. leopard geckos, or just geckos in general, selling really good out here in Mexico too, huh? Actually, the leopard geckos are most popular. Yeah. Because another geckos I, are too difficult to have right there. So leopard geckos are the ones? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, uh, do you have any hatchlings here that I could yeah. see? Yeah. Actually, I, can, I, have, I have two that I want to show you. So this is pretty cool, actually. This actually came from Bob Vu, mm -hmm. from Bob's Balls. And right here we have a, what is it? That's a banana red striped spider, female, 100% head clown. 
Look at that. So, banana red striped spider, 100% hat clown. Mm -hmm. Banana red striped spider. And this came from Bob Vu. You guys all know Bob's Balls? Dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Yep. And we have uh, another thing like Cinema Hypus. Oh, yeah, this thing's pretty. This thing's really pretty. What's your favorite jean? My favorite jean, I think it's black pastel and maybe tied in some combos like nice. Orange Dream eggs. Not clowns? You don't like clowns? I like clowns, but I think they need a lot of jeans to have beautiful clowns. Clowns are the best, man! <laughs> I have one clown right there. <laughs> it's a baby clown boss head pipe. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's too baby. Is it female? It's a male. Male? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to have clowns. You need to have more clowns. Yeah, Alan, I, I need more clowns. I'm gonna give some advice right now. Of course. Get as much clowns as you could. Seriously. Part <laughs> of the future. I was just like... Well, yeah, that's, um, again, um, Alan, thank you very much for showing this. Do you, have, do you want to talk a little bit more of what you, I mean, what you're going to have, you know, in the future? What's the goal? Um, the goal is maybe be one of the most big, um, I, I don't know how to say, breeder stations or something like that. Biggest breeder, right? Yes. And now here in the Guadalajara? In Guadalajara, maybe in Mexico. Yeah. And Ball how, pythons, Ball I mean... Everything that I can. Well, look, dude, you're young as hell, man, and... You have a great head on your shoulders. It looks like if you're going about it the right way and you're already expanding. I mean, dude, if you could do that, you're going to be freaking solid, man. This place <laughs> is beautiful. Um, well, how much snakes do you want to have by the time, you know, you get to where you want to be at? Like, how much snakes total? Cuántos mm, Maybe like three or four hundred. Three to four hundred? Yeah. That's about where it's going to go. That's about where about. I think it's a good number and maybe I will be changing the females to have better and better More females. powerful stuff, right? Yeah. Dude, well, man, thank you again, man. Well, we're gonna leave it off for that. Again, Alan, thank you for everything, guys. Go follow all his stuff. All his information can be on the description down below. As always, guys, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace. <laughs>